It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Giants and the Atlanta Falcons. And it's coming up next on Madden NFL First 24. First open to 2017, there's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. Today, we've got an intriguing NFC matchup lined up here as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Atlanta Falcons. From up top next to Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And folks, we were already excited for this game. And then before the contest, you and I are down on the field outside the white lines. Yes, we were following the rules. We were following the rules. And a ball comes over our direction, but we can't see it. Somebody yells heads up. And instinctively, you turn around and you snare it one-handed with your off left hand. So now we're really ready for football. No gloves either. No gloves. No gloves. Not like what the guys are wearing playing the game now. But wasn't that a whole lot better than that time we were down there? And I got a coffee spilled on me when I got nailed by the punt returner. That happened to the Vikings, right? Yeah, it's a much better job of being heads up this time. Thank you for the thank you for the notice. Kicker Graham Gano set to put his foot into this one. And we are underway from Atlanta. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. Leading them out is their 6-2 quarterback who was a fourth-round pick back in 2012, Kirk Cousins. Not bad for a fourth-round draft pick. Well over 100 career starts now. And the chemistry with his top targets, really on point. They spend a lot of time in practice and after practice making sure the routes are run well. And he knows exactly where they're going to be on the field. And when they get open, he delivers. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson, five yards on the game's first play, second down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Second down, Cousins. That is incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. Third play here this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Cousins to throw it. And a throw there going to be incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Now a man who did his collegiate punting just a couple hours from here in Clemson in South Carolina, Bradley Pinion to kick. Back deep, Isaiah McKenzie. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return, and it'll be Giant football first and ten. The former number six overall pick of 2019, Daniel Jones, trots out to lead this New York Giants offense. We knew about the great mind coming out of Duke, and we saw the athletic ability and the potential. Watching it all come together and get better with each passing year, that's been fun. He can throw it deep, throw it short, and, of course, take off out of the pocket and beat you with his legs as well. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 40. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Steps away to his left. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, 
They avoided giving up a huge play with one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Right back to Singletary on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Being chased out left. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man covers were so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 27. Now Jones. He has high it over the middle. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Right back to Singletary on second down. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Throwing Jones. Has it to Hyatt on the out route. Touchdown! Jalen Hyatt, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Gano the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was Jalen Hyatt with a touchdown catch to end the drive. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together. Now Robinson coughs up the football. It's loose. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Now Cousins. That's out wide here for Robinson. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. 
Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there of protecting the ball and picking up a first down. First down, here's Cousins. This one hauled in, and again, it's Robinson. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that's going to bring up second down. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, you heave one deep when you catch them close to the spot. We always hear from coaches how much they like to run crossing routes because they want to hit their receivers on the go, get them the ball, and keep them moving. How about when you hit a tight end that way? Okay, the receivers are going to run past you most of the time. The tight end, they could do their damage a different way, break a few tackles and really scatter some people, don't they? And he's got this down to the 35. The Falcon passing game looking good on this drive as they get the first down. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 35-yard line. To the air again, it's Cousins. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. To throw, Cousins. A quick throw there is incomplete. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Throwing. Cousins. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 21. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. From the 21, it's second and 10. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, Cousins. He's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Fourth down, and the attention turns to Falcon kicker Young Way Koo. On the left hash, officially, it's called a 51 yard attempt. Koo knocks this one through the post, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7 to 3. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game.
The punter pinion now to kick this one away. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter as they get set to start their drive with a first and ten. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. From the 25 on second down, Jones. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And Robinson, the motion man right. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. That good for 19 and a first down. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. The keeper there turning into a big play of 23 yards, and it moves the sticks. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. 11 more on that one and another first down. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash too. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And the Giants are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Singletary fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. From the two now, second and goal. Back to throw. Jones. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Jalen Hyatt with his second touchdown here in this first half. And they are able to add on to their advantage in the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Extra point try, good by Gano, and that pushes the lead up to 11. So that drive goes eight plays, and it was Jalen Hyatt with a touchdown catch to end the drive.
Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. McLeod now on the return. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. Their deficit is 11, 14 to 3, and needing to get something going here as they come up on first and 10. Working out of the gun, Cousins. Over the middle, caught by London. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it into double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. Well, obviously, they never want to see penalties on that defense, but this one, a little bit more significant there on the downfield pass play. And coaches preach it all the time. You can't put yourself in that kind of position if you're the defender. You've got to stay in a spot far downfield where you can play the ball without creating extra contact. Now Cousins to the right side, and he's got more complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 12 more yards there and another first down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Here's Cousins. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 15-yard line. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And he takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. Here's second and seven. Throwing his cousins. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. 
They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Cousins. Throws to his man on the out route. It's complete. That's Robinson. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. They'll run for it with Robinson. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. B. John Robinson, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons' decision to go for it pays off with six points. So they only needed a couple of feet there on fourth down, but they got more than that in then some as he takes this into the end zone. And I love your description right there, right? Fourth and short. They got that, no problem. Let's go ahead and get the rest of it. Finish it off in the end zone, touchdown. Everyone goes away happy on that one. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and that makes it a 14-10 ball game. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. McKenzie now from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The New York set to take the field. Now, right now, they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Now Jones throwing to start the drive. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. To throw again on second down, Jones. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. Jones on first down. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. To throw once more on second and ten. Jones, this one is Slayton over the middle. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll look to throw again. Escaping the print. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. But that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. And this is good. 
from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, but we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. One touchdown is the difference, 17-10 our score, and we are back underway on EA Sports. Taken at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Now an option play on second down, and holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, he's had success running the football in this one, and that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. On third down, Jones forced out to his left. And Jones will hit the deck here, and he is able to pick up the first down. It's a 10-yard pickup, and that's enough to move the chains. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots, and right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. They'll run on first down with Singletary, and this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. That felt like a trap, because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. From the 35, here's second and nine. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that's going to be caught downfield by Slayton. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 39. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. A give, Singletary right side to the 36-yard line, stop there. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through, no place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Ball on the 36 now, here's second down and seven. Looking to throw, Jones. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. They need to 
get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Back to throw. Jones. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Kentavia Street. Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll go down at the 28. 60 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Tough spot here, third down and 11. Looking to throw, Jones. Now they go screen, it's complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll give this to Singletary running right. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Jones now to throw on second down. And he will throw this one out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. And when you're in a one-score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football into places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Back to throw. Jones. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Isaiah Hodgins from eight yards out and the Giants take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead that seemed pretty ideal there for the offense Charles you take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter decent length drive and you pad your lead as well at the end of it and what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two touchdown lead right because you have taken that time off as you noted which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. They make their second half debut here and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do. And I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, the next drive, that could make this a free possession game. 
buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Well, this certainly feels like complimentary football to me, partner, because the momentum from the team's touchdown drive looks like it's made its way over to the defense. They're working together in tandem now. Offense gets in the end zone. Defense with a big sack on the first play of the following drive. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Now Cousins. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. They'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Cousins from the gun on third. And a dump off here to Robinson. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Oh, good move. We'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. And now out come the Giants. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, the fact you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Singletary to get the drive started. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down. Get to the fourth quarter. Try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. Now Jones. A short one here, secured by the tight end, Waller. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta. It's the Giants with the football and also the lead as we get set to start quarter number four. Throwing Jones. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones, the loop, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. They'll wind up losing three there on the sack. Good pressure, and it's second down. 
And that time, finally, a measure of revenge as they get him down behind the line. It almost felt like relief, didn't it? Because with the success he's had throughout this game, you'd almost expect him to get free and pick up 10 to 15 every time he takes off. Not in that case. That has to feel good for the defense. Now he dumps this off over the middle. It'll be a gain of five. Third and seven now. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Here's Jones to throw on third down. That is caught. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 19. 18 yards, a big pickup there on third down. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. On the handoff, it's Singletary. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Holding offense. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. The yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. On the handoff, running left. And, oh, he coughed it up. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. And that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution and absolute belief because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go ah this thing's pretty well done but they still thought to themselves if we could make a play we give our team a, we give our teammates a chance to win it and that's exactly what they did so out come the falcons now they trail by two scores in the fourth and their defense did its job getting the fumble recovery a time to see what this offense has left in the tank And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After review of the play... The field is so that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Has it to Hyatt on the out route. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that brings up third and a full ten yards. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you got to run fast. Of course, you got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. He finds Robinson. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards but needed ten. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation really nice job defensively they knew where the sticks were they got the stop before it so Jones off Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal this to make it a three score game late Gano's kick is good and that will extend their lead even further so that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle a three score lead I don't think there's any coming back from there but you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. 
The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, We've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests. But in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. So the completion results there in nine yards, and they'll have a second and one forthcoming. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Cousins to throw it. That's complete to Mooney. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Cousins. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Now Cousins. He hits Mooney going across the middle. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 45-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league... A loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. They'll throw again. Cousins throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing. Cousins. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, so a lot of credit to the defensive game plan and especially the execution. On third down, Cousins. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Giants are going to get the football back. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Now let's spotlight Devin Singletary as this offense comes back out. He's toppled the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. 
104 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. 18 more yards there and another first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain on the play. Second and 10 at the 14-yard line. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, 